Hi guys! So today I'm going to do a planner update and I am so excited to talk to you guys again because it's been absolutely forever since I've been able to film. So today, you know, before I started getting back into just regular old planner videos, I wanted to do a planner update and show you guys the way I'm planning and how it's changed. So I have three planners to show you guys here. I got my day designer my plum paper blog planner which I've already done a blog post on so if you want to see some up close photos of that I'll leave my blog post down below and of course my happy planner so let's start with my happy planner okay it hasn't been making me so happy lately but I really wanted to show you guys it because it's been a while it's been a good hot minute so the last plan with me I did was this spread right here. If you can't really see it that well and I'm sorry if the quality is a little different because I'm on a different camera but this is the last spread you guys saw. Let me do a plan with me on anyway. And it's the poolside popsicles and more the week before I went back to school. I'm sorry let me try to angle this a little better so you can see it. Let me just give you a pan view. So there it is, and it this week turned out really good for me. Obviously, you can see I filled it in, but it goes a little downhill from here. So here is the first week going back to school. And I started school on the 24th, and you can see right there it specifically says first day of school. And I did a little something different this week. Uh, well, a couple things different this week. I tried to use different headers. Excuse my nails. I tried to use different headers so you see... I don't know if that's going to focus, but it says school, personal, and the shell XOXO on the bottom. So I tried to do those different headers, and then I also tried to do, well, full boxes throughout the middle. Well, at least from on this spread from Monday to Friday, full boxes in the middle. And I like the full boxes. I keep that. But you can see on the um, headers, I wasn't using the shell XOXO at the bottom, which, by the way, these filming stickers I made myself. We live at a website called Flat Icon, which I'll leave that down below. This weekend banners are printable. A little Bella sticker that I found at Walmart, surprisingly. But most of these stickers I made myself, except for these sticker books, which are from the Wise Owls Michaels sticker book. But most of them I made myself, and I just... This spread just didn't work for me. I liked having this section for school, and you'll see I stop using this, but then I go back to it. So I like having this section for school, but I just wasn't really using the Today section or the Nichelle XOXO section. So I try to change it up. September, this is what I did for the monthly dashboard. I really didn't fill it out, and you see I don't continue to fill this out. And then I do the same thing for the September monthly. I wasn't really using it. I try I used washi tape for the days that I was off or visiting days and I just wasn't I wasn't I have I haven't been using this planner at all to tell you guys the absolute goodness truth. Okay, so this is the minion week. Okay. You can see I kept the full boxes in the middle. I like the way those look, but I changed my headers. It's kind of hard to see because it's blue on top of yellow because it's going for a minion theme. But I changed them to to do, today, and then I tried to do the little things at the bottom, kind of like Scribble Prince Co. does and Glam Planner, if you've heard of Elle Fowler, the way they do the little things, little stacked up on the bottom. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like that the little things are uneven, so you can see I changed that, but I use, mostly I use, because I had another sheet of these, um, minion stickers that I got for my birthday, but I'm pretty sure they're either from Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and this I just didn't use. You can see, besides some decorative stickers, it wasn't really filled out, so... This three-day weekend banner I, used my, I made myself, the star checklist, I got um, as free printable online, and I'll try to find the um, site I got that from the link it down below. But I didn't really use this. I especially, I'm sorry, I keep flipping this around so you guys can see it better. But especially this sidebar, 
I really did not like the way it turned out because I just tried to decorate it because I figured if I had daily to do's I wouldn't need the weekly to do this I usually do and I really, didn't, I really didn't like the way that turned out just decorating it it looked really sloppy to me so there's that but I I tried <laughs> you guys I tried so the next week I kept the to do's at the top but instead of using checklists I started using icons if you can see that and then I kept the full boxes in the middle and then I did little things at the bottom and I put a header at the top of the box like I said I don't like the way little things look uneven like here's two then one then one then one then one then one and then <laughs> two at the bottom over here I just don't like the way that looks but um it turned out okay you can see in the end I just stopped trying to do the little things I keep the little things header but I stopped trying to do them as like little boxes that you stack on top of each other and I do the same thing I do with my to-dos I just use little icons so here you can see I just use little icons for my to-dos my todays I made full boxes but I didn't use sticker paper like I did to make my other stickers I actually just glued down I cut up pieces of paper from this um Oh wait, it's upside down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I cut up pieces from this DIY um, shop paper pad that I got from Target and I just glued it down with regular Elmer's glue to make these full boxes in the middle. You can see I do that for the first couple of weeks because I really like the way that that paper pad looks. It looks really cool and vintage-like. With the half boxes I made myself, the little thing stickers I made myself, this really cute flower up in the corner I made myself and I made the headers myself too as well as um for that week and the back to school week all these headers I made myself so I got into making stickers for myself I've actually stopped doing that recently um but you know that weekend banners from Hello Emma Co and yeah yeah Hello Emma Co and the next week, this actually turned out really pretty. So I tried to do the stackable little things one more time. And it turned out okay. I like that it gave me more space for my today, but I wasn't using it anyway. <laughs> the full boxes are from the same paper pad. I did the to-do, the today, and the little things. But I just didn't like how uneven it looked. I guess since they weren't professional stickers, since I made them myself, they look a little weird and uneven but there's that I used this social media sidebar from oh hello stationery co and I really like it you see I keep using it the same weekend banner from hello Emma co and I made the half boxes myself that movie stickers from hello Emma co you know I tried you guys I really did <laughs> but I just don't like the way it looks in the end. Sorry, I just kind of make sure my camera's not weird and on straight and I'm trying to make sure you guys can see everything. So, there we go. That's okay. But anyway, <laughs> and then this week. This week was an ultimate fail because as you can see, it is mostly blank. <laughs> and I was really excited for this week because the full boxes are gorgeous. It's from the same DIY paper pad from Target. I used the social media sidebar and I made a couple of stickers that you can just see. This did not get filled out. I was really busy this week, which is obviously the time when you're supposed to use your planner the most, but I just. It got away from me and. I, that's when I kind of realized this really wasn't working for me. <laughs> so then we go into October. I did absolutely nothing for the dashboard, and I did a little bit for the monthly, as you can see, just a tiny bit, mostly in this corner, but a little bit. And then we get into the first week of October. Okay, so this is when I stopped making stickers. I got really lazy, and I really didn't want to make any more stickers. So I covered up the headers with this spider ribbon that I got from Michaels, and I used this movie mayhem sticker book from Michaels to um as my decorative stickers you can just see it's how cute it is all these ghosts and vampires and frankensteins and skulls going to the movies I thought it was adorable <laughs> and um I kept the social media sidebar I tried running washi down the side I eventually stopped doing that because I don't like the way 
it, how it like makes it stand out that the sidebar is really uneven like that kind of bothers me <laughs> so yeah I mean I kept the same general gist this was little things this was today but I changed to do back to school um so I tried that but I just I couldn't with this week I didn't like the way that the spider wash, I mean, ribbon being so big, it took up a lot of space. And then, you know, I love to use big stickers, so that kind of took even up, took up even more space. But, um, it turned out okay, I <laughs> suppose. Then the second week is when I go back to doing the full boxes again. So, these full boxes are from one of Hello Emma Co.'s, um... Halloween sets. I don't think you can get them anymore, but if you can, I'll link it down below, though I don't know why you would want to get them, because this is going up the day before Halloween, so <laughs> it might be a little late. The sticker book I used for this one was the Happy Halloween sticker book, and I thought it was really cute. I put the little Frankenstein up in the corner, kept the social media sidebar. I didn't do a to-do for this week, and you can see up top, it's still school except for on Saturday and Sunday that's just random like it was my grandmother's birthday so I put that at the top but it's still a mostly blank week so I obviously do more than this I just don't plan it out and then once I finish it I don't record it in my planner like I usually do and then this week oh my gosh this is a hot mess week <laughs> I didn't want to use the ribbon again to cover up well I didn't use ribbon this week I actually used washi tape this washi tape is from Target this little eyeball washi tape but I was sick of how much space it took up so I was trying not to use it to cover up the header so I just tried to use regular stickers I use a lot of stickers from Hello Emma Co's um, Halloween weekly set and then I just doubled up on the washi at the bottom and I really tried to fill in all the headers. I tried to stick to a general, and I didn't really stick to a general sections, and I realized that I didn't like that. I didn't like it to be one continuous flowing day. I need it to be break apart. Even if it's not in sections, like in some weeks after this, I keep it just blank. <laughs> Especially on days when I have no school, like I just keep it blank and that's perfectly fine with me, but I don't like the way it's just one continuous day. That really bothers me. Like, I have to have some type of headers, even if there's, like, no rhyme or reason for that header. That makes any sense, but <laughs> I don't like the one continuous day. So, this was an epic planner fail for me, because I just really didn't use it. It looks more decorated than other weeks, simply because I was trying to cover up the headers, but I didn't use it, <laughs> because... It just, I didn't like the way it looked. Like, that's kind of one thing for me is when I use my planner, it has to look pretty. Like, it has to look, you know, it has to, it has to look pretty for me to use it. Now, this week was a lot better, okay? This week, this is what I need to happen every week. So, I did full boxes in the middle, but instead of using the DIY paper pad or any, like, fancy stickers. I just cut up these sticker sheets that I got from the Dollar Tree. So they're full sticker sheets with the designs on them, like it's adhesive on the back. And I just cut them up to fit in the in the middle boxes. Instead, I use washi to cover up the headers, but to do it this week so it didn't take up so much room, I took my Westcott paper trimmer that I just got at Walmart for like 10 bucks. And I cut the tape in half. Don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place, but I did that. I kept the top for school. You can see I have my school schedule in there because I go to a, a um, <laughs> I go to a block schedule in school with A days and B days. I did my to-do list on the sidebar. I actually completed a lot of these and I just didn't check them off. And then my social media sidebar and. I just like this week a lot better. A lot of things got cancelled, but at least I was filling in my week and I was doing things with it. It was a really busy school week, especially this week I actually had three papers due and two tests, so it was a really busy school week, even though it doesn't look up there, like up there, it looks really blank. It was busy. It was really busy, and I went to a college fair that Wednesday. So it was a really busy week, and I just liked the way that this looked, okay? And I kept with it for this week. So this is the current week. Today's actually the 30th and I have no school, which is why 
there's actually sunlight while I'm out filming this. Usually I try to film on the weekends when I don't have any school because when I come home it's too dark. <laughs> so them after I stay after school a lot and then I have homework and it's just too dark once I'm done with everything. But I used another Hello Emma weekly kit. These full boxes are from there. And so are the half boxes and so are these checklists. And then the sticker book that I used was this trick or treat sticker book. Oh and for last week well not that week, this week I had used the Freaky Fountain sticker book. So I used a lot of Halloween sticker books. So I went a little crazy, so I wanted to use most of them for the month of October, except for this week. I wanted a break so I wouldn't be too sick of Halloween before Halloween comes. <laughs> so there's that. I'm still using the social media sidebars. I use really cute stickers. So I, I mean, this week turned out well. I took the same eyeball washi, but instead I cut in half with my paper trimmer. The weekend banners from her. Um, from Hello Emma Co's Halloween Weekly set, and I've actually been using this. <laughs> it may not look like it, but I've actually been using this, and I've been staying on top of things, so I'm very happy with this week. I am switching to a plum paper planner, <laughs> which, um, if you follow me on my blog, you know that actually I did a planner wish list either last week or a couple of weeks back, and I have plum paper planner on my wish list. And I'm thinking of getting a Plum Paper MAE. And I'm very excited because they just made the announcement that November 1st they're coming out with interchangeable covers and there will no longer be that plastic vellum overlay on their planners. So I'm super excited for that. And if you guys want me to show you my 2016 setup, since I am planning on adding a couple add ons and customizing my Plum Paper, I will be happy to show you guys that. I'll probably order it in November, so hopefully it'll be here by December for the new year. So I'm excited. So, my happy planner, though I love it, I think the one reason I'm really changing to a Plum Paper planner is since I got my blog planner, I just love the quality of the Plum Paper planner more than the happy planner. The Happy Planner is a really nice, inexpensive option, especially if you like buy it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they always have those 30% or 40% off coupons. It's already regularly at 25 and then with that 30 to 40% you can get it down to like 15 So it's a really, really good price. And there's a lot of accessories and you can customize it, but I hate the way that the cover pops off all the time. That's the one reason I kind of think I don't use this planner is because I don't take it out with me because pages will pop out of it and spread all over my bag and then my planner gets wrinkly and nasty. So I don't take it out with me, but this is a school planner and a day-to-day -day planner and it's not like a planner can just keep on my desk. Like, <laughs> it would be much more beneficial for me if I could take it around and I just, I don't feel comfortable doing so because I don't want to bend and mess up my planner. I like that it's customizable, but at the same time, I feel like the Plum Planner can be just as customizable with all the add-ons and special additions you can get to it. I love the colors of the Plum Paper Planner, and it still has that better quality because it's customizable, but you can get it with a coil. So. I love that. If you guys know about Plum Paper Planner, you can start it in any month. You can add plenty of add-ons, you can add note pages, you can add checklists, you can add to-dos, and they customize just about everything. So you can pick a cover and then they customize the colors and they write your name on the cover. So on my blog planner it says my blog name on it, Michelle XOXO. So it's like, I don't know, I think I wasn't really using a whole lot of customization in my Happy Planner, so having it for me, Plum Paper is customizable enough for me, and it's going to be a better quality, and it doesn't really cost too, too much more than a Happy Planner, because a regular basic Plum Paper Planner just with no add-ons, with a customizable cover with your name on it, and 12 months, and you can start it from any month, so I started my blog planner in October, and it goes from October of this year to September of next year, so a 12-month planner that you can start at any month, so you're not wasting it, is um, $31, and that's only an extra $6 from a Plum Paper, because I did pay full plum paper no for a happy planner because I did pay full price for this because I got it off their website and I just I just noticed that I I'm gonna I know that I'm gonna use my plum paper more 
because I'm not going to add too much stuff to it. I think right now I already have it in my cart, but I'm going to go back just in case. I'm going to not buy it till November 1st so I can get customizable covers and then go back and see if there's any customizable covers that I want. So, um, and that way I can get the updated cover option because if I order it before, it's going to come standard with the, um, vellum overlay and then just the regular cardboard cover instead of the new cover. So, just a basic MAE planner, which is the exact same layout as the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren, except it has a little checklist at the bottom, is going to be, for me, with the add-ons, and I got 10% off, it's only $40 shipped. So, that's not too much more than a Happy Planner, especially for the quality that you get, and I'm adding customization to it. So, yeah, that's basically my whole spiel, because I didn't really explain that in my blog post, but I am switching to a plum paper planner for those reasons. And speaking of plum paper planner, this is my plum paper planner. Oh my gosh, it's really, how many times have I said that? Plum paper planner, plum paper planner, pl oh my gosh. I'm just going to call it a triple P from now on. Oh my god, that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, this is my Palm Paper Planner monthly blog planner. So it is just the monthly layout, and I'll show you guys a little flip through. So I already showed you my customizable cover. After the cover, it comes with a yearly overview, and you get the yearly overview for 2015 and 2016 since my planner goes into 2016. And then you just get a blank page, and they change their dividers, so now they are colored. And you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a little chevron wavy design. And they change their colors of the plum paper planner as well. It's more of like ombre, so you can see it goes from mint to teal to purple to dark purple to light purple to an even lighter purple. And then that's the next six months, and you can see it goes from coral to a pink to a red to a dark green to a light green and back to that mint color and it repeats so yeah I kind of wish I had added a couple of months to this planner so that way it would um since it goes to September of next year I could have ended it in December so we just have a January to, to December layout next time I buy a planner but that's fine so mine starts in October and then you I'm going to show you a blank one so at the back of the divider you get a little dashboard. It says goal number one, goal number two, and goal number three in these three top circles. Birthdays, events, things to remember, and two blank lists at the bottom. And that's like your highlights on the back of your divider. So for October, I changed it up for my blog. I still put three blog goals, but then I put blog to do's, blog series, top blog posts that I want to focus on, and then on this right column. I'm going to write top blog posts that were most viewed throughout the month, and then my beginning stats and my finishing stats for the month. And I just use this really pretty f scotch floral washi from Target and these um, letter stickers that I got for my birthday, so I don't know where they're from. And then on the beginning of every month in every single planner, there is a notes page before the monthly overview, and I just use those to write post ideas for that month. And then it goes into the monthly overview. Now for this month, you can't see it because I'm basically done with um, every single post that's going to go up this month. But for this first month, I tried to do a sticky note method. So I got these sticky notes from Dollar Tree. And let me cover that up because it's kind of... Yeah, well that's my name and password. But you don't know what the password is too, so it's okay. <laughs> but those are the sticky notes. So that I just got from Dollar Tree, and what I tried to do is I just put lay the sticky note on that day, write the tentative blog post that I might put up that day, and if it does get put up, I would write it in color pen based on my color coding key. So pink is for other, green is for media and life, blue is for planner related posts, and purple are for beauty and fashion. <coughs> Excuse me. But I didn't really like the way that looked. <laughs> All the sticky notes on the page kind of confused me, so in November... I just end up penciling them in, and then if they go up, I'm just going to write them in the color coding pen. And then on the sidebar, I just put blog posts that I don't know when I want to put them up. So, obviously there's a lot of writing on November, because November is blog embers. So I'm going to post every day for the entire month of November, so if you want to check those blog posts out, I'll leave a link to my blog down below so you can follow me there. But then... 
Since I bought the monthly planner, right after the monthly view, there are no weekly views. There's just note pages. And that's something I really like about this. My oh, I can just buy a regular like $6 monthly planner at like Target or something. And A, um, <laughs> one was because uh, with A, you don't get this on the back first off. So I really like this where I can set up my goals and, you know, to-do lists and things like that. And B, when you buy just a regular monthly blog planner, it just has, not monthly blog planner, just a regular monthly planner, it's just monthly posts back to back to back. There aren't those note pages in between. And I really like using these note pages to write, you know, little details about the post I'm putting up. So for my September favorites, I made a list of my September favorites. For when I was doing a post about my blog planner, I put a list of all the things I wanted to talk about and some of the, t the pictures I wanted to take. So I really like having this notes page to write out those details and just random things for that month. So for November, I kind of did the same thing. I haven't labeled them yet because I didn't know whether or not I like the labels that I'm using and I actually am going to change them up so I'm glad I haven't labeled them yet. But I just use these fall leaves washi from Target to cover it up. And then I already have some of the um, blog post ideas for Blog Ember. And I really like this. Another reason I like this because for all the note pages, you can really plan ahead. So I already have some posts down for something I might want to post in December and some posts I might want to post in January. So I like that ability to plan ahead. And then after all your months, so like I said, since I started mine in October of this year, it ends in September of next year. So after all of your months, boom, 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 I have no add-ons in this planner. So this is just everything that comes with a basic planner that you add. I mean, not that you add, just a basic planner. So if you just buy a basic planner, it's going to come with this. So it has the special dates, which I don't know what to use this for yet. <laughs> I was thinking I might want to transfer all of my social stats on here too, just to see like a yearly overview, but I don't really know. So this for right now is just blank and it gets special dates. So it's kind of like the Erin Condren Perpetual Calendar. And then you get a passwords page. Which, glad, good thing I haven't filled this out yet because I am going to because I have a lot of Nichelle XOXO separate accounts from like my personal accounts and so I always forget the username and password because I get them messed up with my personal accounts. But um, there's a passwords page and it just says website, username, password, and I'm sorry if you saw those um, light dots because my light dots, wow, those dots of light to me. <laughs> My window is open, obviously, to get some light in for this video. It comes with a My Contacts page, which just has a star for their name, a little phone for their phone number, an asterisk, or not an asterisk, an at sign for their email, and a house for their address, which I might use this for bloggers and YouTubers and companies I'm in contact with. And then it comes with a Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, so so after your contacts page, you get a, well you get two of them because they're double-sided, and then you get a holidays page, 
and it tells you, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me try to adjust this so you don't see those dots of light. Let me just try to zoom in. Okay. Let me zoom out a little. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Hopefully you can see that a little better. But anyway, you have a holidays page and it has all the holidays for 2015, 2016, and 2017. And then you get a 2017 overview, yearly overview, and a little folder at the back that says for keeps and it's double sides of. Mm, excuse me, dang. Mm -hmm. And then you get your back cover. So that's all that I've been using my plum paper, my monthly plum paper blog planner. Goodness, try to say that three times fast. But that's all I've been using that. And then I want to show you guys a planner fail. Okay, so I tried to use the Target Day Designer as a academic planner because I got obviously I was like I can't carry my happy planner around because the cover keeps popping off and pages keep falling out so I said I'll just get a planner that's just for school <laughs> which is you know those weeks in September where I was just using to do pages and it turned out okay I mean it was a pretty it was a pretty good setup if you can see there I I mean, I really liked it in the fact that it was all functional. I didn't really decorate it too, too much. I had a couple of these um, Carolina's Crafts. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if you can hear all that. My brother is doing the dishes. Anyway, <laughs> um, I have a couple of these KK printables, Carolina's Craft printable um, school stickers. So like this one that says test and study over here and read. And then I had a little color coding system that I just put on this random tag. I'm pretty sure I got these as like a pack of 12 from Michaels with these little tags. And I just took the ribbon out and hole punched it and cut little slits in it <laughs> to fit in the planner and use as a bookmark. But um, I just stopped using this. Like I literally just stopped using it. Like I just stopped writing things down in it, and I went back to my happy planner because I didn't like. Like I said, I didn't like all the blank space that was in my happy planner. So this turned out just to be a planner fail. I'm trying to find another use for it, like maybe daily to do list, you know, like in depth to do list that you don't really feel the need to do to put like in your weekly blog plan. Or oh my gosh, <laughs> every plan is just for my blog now. But you don't really feel the need to put in your weekly planner. So I don't put a lot of to-do lists in my happy planner. That's something I was thinking about for my plum paper planner because they have a little to-do list add-ons. I might add that on or I might just use this and try to turn it into something I'd use for um, daily to-do lists because it does have I bought the one that's horizontal and it comes with just a little space for the day and to do section. So maybe I'll try to find another way to incorporate this. If you have a day designer like this, please let me know in the down bar what you use it for. But it just didn't work as a school planner because I think the only thing I want separate from my life planner is a blog planner so that way I can detail, detail, plan in detail about my blog and make a little blog to-do list and I really don't have room for that to be all in one planner so I like having a separate blog planner for my life planner but I didn't like having a separate school planner so maybe I can use this as like a little journal or like a little to-do list thing but I want to find a use for this so leave me your comments below on what you think you can use this for or what you think I should use this for or what you use this for Okay, now, you know when I'm done with the video, when I'm just rambling, but <laughs> that is all. Let me know in the down bar your planner updates and how you've been using your planner and how your planning, planning, how your planning has changed. And any planning suggestions you guys have for me. Also, if you're a plum paper planner lover, please let me know what you guys think about the new covers down below. Because if you guys follow them on Instagram, you see it looks a little kind of iffy. I'm a little scared that it might be, um, because I think it's just thicker cardboard. I don't think that the covers are laminated, so I'm a little scared. I thought when they would change their covers, it would be changed to laminated covers, but they haven't laminated them. They're just like thicker, spill-proof, tear-proof cardboard. So let me know 
the down bar what you think and if you're excited for the change. But other than that, I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Bye!